Hello folks, uh, welcome to another edition of Yorkie Three Stripe. Um, thank you for the reaction of uh, my last video where I did a little bit of a, a quick tour of my man cave, um, my Adidas man cave, um, mainly Adidas Spezial, which is what I've, I've started collecting over the last few months. Um, always had a, a like and a passion for Adidas. And that's obviously then crossed over a little bit to, to the Spezial collection, which uh, is vast. It is vast. <laughs> Take my word for it. There's a lot of it. Um, and I've been really enjoying getting back into Adidas again, um, which I, I, I had been collecting for a few years, um, seven, eight years ago. Um, I was explaining my last video and I've just been, uh, it's been growing ever since and uh, adding more um, Spezial uh, footwear jackets towels bags um over the last few months and a few more since my last video i think it was about three weeks ago um really lovely to get there to be received, to received um welcome welcomingly by everyone some nice comments and, and likes and uh, yeah so what i'm going to do is i'm going to probably focus more on individual re um footwear and, and clothing in, in the future um but i just wanted to give an update of some of the things i've just added um you might notice that there. Um, one of the guys on the Facebook pages was selling this and I had to take it. It's, it's a light. There you go. In it's full glory. Uh, already rigged up, already plugged. Uh, I got it the other day, sent to my work and I'm delighted with it. Um, so I've now got a thing for these. So anything like which is going to enhance my man cave and make it even more uh, Adidas friendly, Spezial friendly particularly. Um, I'm all for it. So if anyone's got these knocking around anymore, I'd definitely be interested. It looks great, especially when the lights are out and uh, just need to find a place for it um, because that's not going to where it's going to stay. But uh, I thought maybe on one of the cabinets, but I'm going to get more more storage, more units. As you can see, I'm certainly short of it. Um, I did a few posters as well, which which I really which I really like. Got these on eBay actually, but again, they're, they're probably available in other places. Um, I love the brochures, added a few of those recently, um, the two the two big guides, uh, what came out a few years ago, uh, volume one and volume two, and as I say, some of the, um, some of the brochures really are great to look at, um, there's my Vicky McClure there, some of the, uh, the Leighton Baines, ex-Everton, still of Everton I believe, um, we won't mention his name, he used to play for Arsenal. Uh, but yeah, some fantastic um, shots and a bit of a background of it. As That's the Autumn Winter 14 collection. Some great pictures, um, you know, and it's interesting to see which celebs get involved as well. And I wasn't buying Spezian. I certainly didn't have much of a knowledge of it back then. Um, it's only been really the last sort of maybe three years, four years. So I'm sort of backtracking, if you like. And I've been picking up some real nice vintage pieces clothing wise particularly uh the norwegian hoodie featured in the oh was that the 14 that's 15 autumn winter 15 uh, i got that recently um which again i'm happy to do videos on if people want that um really nice hooded top and again that was the the brochure for that which i picked up recently um so yeah i'm always looking for others i've got one or two there 16 autumn winter 18 uh, autumn into 17 there as well so yeah um really happy with those i've uh, been picking up one or two little badges as well i uh, got those on ebay and yeah on a go i've got the hats the beanies the hats um the bucket hats i uh, got that recently um the union collaboration obviously the, the soul love hat which came out last year um along with the bag um, got the towels so yeah it's been a bit of a special fest really overdose um going away so i'll be taking that with me my trusted bag i've had that a few years actually that was my first special pieces that i bought um along with the trx vintage um love love those trainers probably my favorites because they were my first special pair um, obviously got my cabinets up not really set on what i'm going to put in the cabinets um now i've got a couple i won't mind a couple more or storage um i need to make up my mind anyone got suggestions or tips 
or pictures of their own, please, please let me see. Um, because I'm, I'm well, I welcome any ideas. Um, obviously added more footwear since my last video. Um, got the uh, the Noel Gallagher Garwins, which I was really delighted to get. Brand new tagged as well. Um, still with a pop on the tag leather pop uh, leather tag. Uh, lovely those, really are. And obviously they go alongside the leather Garwin standards. Um, so really happy to get those. Actually, as, 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 so as recent as two days ago, I got these. These came up on eBay. Couldn't resist them. Now, the official line, well, not the official line, but there's rumoured to be only 1,000 released of the Waterproof Special. Came out in 2015, the second uh, wave of, of release of the Special Art Collection. The first, obviously, was 14. These are wonderful. Now, I've spoke to somebody else who would know, and apparently there was more than 1,000 released, but still... Probably the most scarce Adidas Special trainer there is. The Waterproof Special, what, eight years now coming up since they released. I've never seen a pair and certainly not brand new tagged. So they came up on eBay. I mean, they did retail at £185 when these came out. Given they've been out eight years and the, the scarce of the trainer uh, and they are tagged, I thought the price wasn't too bad. Pretty much double what, 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 what the original retail was. So... I thought it was a decent price, um, and if I'm going to collect the full collection, then they're a must. So I'm delighted to get those. Really am. I didn't think I'd ever get those, especially not in that, especially not brand new tagged. <clears throat> the Kirkdale I did get as well, which I showed in my last video. They're not brand new tagged. That's still something I'd love to get, um, but they're wonderful as they are. So I also got the Elland there recently. Came out a couple of years ago. Nice sought after trainer. Obviously, Leeds United fans would love one of those. Uh, Elland, of course, region in Leeds, where the stadium is. Um, been a Yorkshireman. I can't say I hate Leeds, but uh, I'm not a Leeds fan either. But lovely trainer to own. Lovely colourway. I love the yellow and the blue. Um, got my Sambas. I'd already got my original Samba. And then I picked up these again on eBay. But not too bad a price. Tagged as well. Extremely hard to get tagged. Um, came out at the same time. I think it was uh, 18 autumn. Was it autumn, winter 18? I get confused, but they are a cracker. Obviously, I had the original Sambas as a kid, um, but I love the differences, the, the little twerks, tw tweaks they've done, the suede on the toe. Obviously, a special tongue. The padding inside as well, really nice quality. Um, another pair I picked up recently. There we go. The Galaxy, um, they came out, let's see, I think that was 18, was it, the Galaxy? No, 19, Some spring, summer 19, they came out. Um, never been one for the, for the, for the, um, yeah, what do you call them? I can't remember the name now. Never been one for those anyway, but um, if you're going to get a collection, you need to get as many as you can. Uh, the Lower Tree, the Joggers, um, the Hoddlestons. The Burdens, uh, obviously the Munichs, the Munchens, sorry, they've got the Munchens, both colourways now. Uh, again, a good price on eBay, a very good price for those. Uh, and on we go. Um, delighted to get what I'm getting. I've got obviously the, the Munchens there, um, the new, the more recent releases, the blue one, uh, the Coats, which are beautiful, beautiful shoe. So I keep going. Um, the bullholes in the corner in the blue. I still need to get the brown. So I'm on a mission. Um, just going to show you a little bit more. There's my. There's some of my jackets. Um, which I mean, some of the jackets special I'll bring out are absolutely wonderful. The new line. Uh, I've yet to pick up either of those. Picked up a couple of t-shirts uh, last week. Um, also picked up the the tuckle tracksuit top, the fleece, which I think is lovely. Um, but I still have to get the white zipper. Um, I really like that one. The Bells Hill, I think it is. And um, as I say, a couple more bits. Um, or oh, the, the black polo as well, which I like. So yeah, get in there. Get in there. A couple of recent jackets. I uh, got the Standish. Did have this originally, actually. I sold it and I, I regretted it from the moment I sold it a few years ago. So glad to get that back. Uh, the first, well, the third Haslingdon. Uh, after the, the dark blue and the green. Uh, two jackets that I've yet to get as well. Very expensive, and uh, they don't come up often, but 
still to get those two but this one a bit more common a bit more of a summer evening jacket or an overshirt the Aaron Haslington 3 uh, so I've got that as well and a couple of my recent from the recent drop uh, the new rads which I absolutely love uh, in the suede and uh, now of course they came out in the leather popular demand <laughs> so it's nice to have both options and uh, I think they look great on great with some jeans but also so comfortable um, very I thought the Albrecht um, we're going to take some beating but I think the new rads are even more comfy uh, got the hot Schlager super um, just came out of the week last week really nice shoe beautiful um, and of course I've got the high haven which everyone's loving that's coming today actually so I'm looking forward to getting those in hand not seeing them yet um, so there, yeah, there we go. Uh, I don't want to waffle too much. Um, if anyone wants anything reviewed, anything individually, please let me know. Um, but I'm happy to just share things as I bring them in, even do unboxings. Um, really loving getting back into the Adidas scene again. Obviously, Spezial mainly. Um, but I do buy other pieces. Obviously, I've got the Soul Box there. I've um, got a few other shoes there which aren't out of the boxes, but few other things got the tobacco rivers um, the trees that came out recently um, I like the the island collection that came out well oh, 2015 there's the rest of my specials which haven't got room to come out so what I'm gonna do over the next few weeks get my room a bit more order obviously I don't want them laid out on the floor I want to be able to walk around the room so I need storage on the walls um, and get them all out on display if possible but certainly I want a good 60-70% out on display um, so yeah any ideas guys let me know um, so there we go just a recent uh, recent addition to the room which I'm really happy about and uh, yeah I'm certainly look out for things like that in future and uh, yeah just a bit of an update on the, the footwear range as I say I'm more than happy to do um, showings of my clothes as well Special uh, clothing collection which is just a wonderful and uh, yeah so thanks for all your support thanks for watching if you've not subscribed, please subscribe, please comment, and uh, till next time, cheerio.